Long before he became one of the top law enforcement officials in the United States, 2014 distinguished alumnus Gil Kurlikowski spent many hours as a child at the old Lee County Courthouse in Fort Myers, where his mother worked as a clerk and his stepfather was a judge. Inside the historic building, amid the bustle of a small town municipality, Kurlikowski absorbed the realities of the criminal justice system by watching it firsthand. He saw how the most effective and well-respected lawmen were those who held themselves to strict professional standards, while at the same time acknowledging the humanity of those in their charge, whether victim or accused. That philosophy underscores Kurlikowski's 40-year career in law enforcement, which has culminated in his current role as Commissioner of U.S. Customs and Border Protection, an agency of more than 60,000 employees in 40 countries who are tasked with protecting U.S. borders and monitoring international travel and trade. For the past eight months, Kurlikowski has worked hard to create an agency culture that balances national security priorities with a humanitarian response to immigrants fleeing violence and poverty in their homeland. It is the second White House appointment for Kurlikowski, who previously served for five years as director of the Office of National Drug Control Policy. As the U.S. drug czar, Kurlikowski led the country's battle against substance abuse. A former police officer who regularly witnessed the devastating toll drugs take on users and their families Kurlikowski focused his efforts on addressing the public health implications of addiction that ultimately fuel criminal behavior, leading a trend that has taken root in law enforcement agencies and communities nationwide. In 1970, Kurlikowski left Fort Myers to serve in the U.S. Army, where one of his many duties was to salute President Richard Nixon as he disembarked from the presidential helicopter. He was awarded a presidential service badge for his service. After discharge, he began his law enforcement career with the St. Petersburg Police Department and earned his bachelor's and master's degrees by taking night classes in USF's criminology program, which he rates as one of the best of its kind in the country. Kurlikowski went on to become chief of police in Fort Pierce and Port St. Lucie, then police commissioner in Buffalo, New York. He left that post to join the United States Justice Department, where he oversaw community policing grants and met his wife, criminal justice researcher Anna Laszlo. They've been married for 19 years now. He left Washington, D.C. to become chief of police in Seattle and served for nine years before his appointment as U.S. Drug Czar. In recognition of these significant professional achievements, USF's College of Behavioral and Community Sciences awarded Kurlikowski an honorary doctorate in 2010. The ceremony was especially poignant because of the presence of his mother, then 90 years old, the one who had originally brought him to the old Lee County Courthouse where Kurlikowski learned those early lessons of discipline metered with compassion. Please join us in congratulating 2014 USF Distinguished Alumnus Gil Kurlikowski.